to all today we are going to discuss about chapter number 15 statistics so statistics means it is the collection of data presentation of data classification of data and analysis of data okay collection classification presentation and analysis of data see in earlier classes we studied some measures of central tendencies such as measures of central tendencies such as mean median mode okay so in this chapter we just continue uh, the same measures of central tendencies mean median and mode along with some measures of dispersion okay measures of dispersion so dispersion means it is a scattering of data suppose we have a scattered data we have to represent this scattered data in the form of a representative of a single number using measures of dispersion okay so there are mainly four types of measures of dispersion namely range quartile deviation then mean deviation and standard deviation these are the four types of measures of dispersions so in this chapter we shall study all these measures of dispersion except quartile deviation okay listen this is a collection of data it's a scattered data so we have to find our first measure of dispersion range so listen to get range first we have to consider what is the maximum value in this scattered data what is maximum value see in this data maximum value is 92 okay and what is minimum value so in the data minimum value is 23 isn't it sorry 22 so maximum value minus minimum value what is the answer 70 this value is known as range so range equal to maximum value minus minimum value okay next measure of dispersion is mean deviation this mean deviation may be obtained from any measure of central tendency that is mean deviation from mean or mean deviation from median okay so mean deviation may be obtained from any measure of the central tendency however mean deviation from mean and median are commonly used in statistical studies let's now learn how to calculate mean deviation about median and mean deviation about mean okay mean deviation about mean and mean deviation about median for this we want to know how to find mean and median so these two measures of central tendencies are already learned in earlier classes so recall how to find mean and median for grouped data as well as for ungrouped data now listen what is grouped data and ungrouped data listen suppose we have some values just like 3 6 7 8 9 10 etc then these are known as ungrouped data okay suppose we have a data in the form class with the frequency or values with the frequency this type of data is known as grouped data so for ungrouped data and grouped data there is a formula to obtain mean x bar in this case ungrouped data mean x bar is obtained by sum of all the observations divided by total number of observation so observation means the values given sum of all the values divided by total number of values see in the case of grouped data 
we studied direct method direct method means x bar is equal to sigma fx by capital n or sigma fi xi divided by sigma fi and another method is assumed mean method see in class 10 we studied how to find x bar or mean by direct method or by assumed mean method so for ungrouped data you have to apply this formula to obtain x bar and in the case of grouped data you have to go with direct method let's see some examples how to find mean deviation about the mean for ungrouped data okay example we have a data 6 7 10 12 13 4 8 12 we need to find mean deviation about the mean okay mean deviation about the mean for this first we have to find what is mean x bar so here values are given values are given means it is an ungrouped data so for ungrouped data mean is sum of all the observations divided by total number of observations okay sum of all the observations divided by total number of observations so we have to add all these numbers 6 7 10 12 13 4 8 and 12 divided by total number of observation is equal to 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so sum equal to 72 so 72 by 8 is equal to 9 so x bar mean x bar equal to 9 next step is find the deviations okay deviations d deviations d and these deviations are obtained by listen from these values we have to subtract this x bar so our x i is the values given what is values 6 7 10 12 13 4 8 12 so from these values listen we are going to find deviation and this deviation is obtained by subtracting x bar from these x values that is 6 minus 9 x bar is 9 7 minus 9 10 minus 9 12 minus 9 13 minus 9 4 minus 9 8 minus 9 and 12 minus 9 so this gives minus 3 minus 2 1 3 4 this minus 5 minus 1 3 okay now take the modulus of this deviation xi minus x bar take the modulus so modulus is modulus of minus 3 3 modulus of minus 2 2 modulus of 1 1 modulus of 3 3 modulus of 4 4 modulus of minus 5 5 modulus of minus 1 1 modulus of 3 3 now find their sum okay sum is 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 1 plus 3 which gives 22 okay and this 22 is represent sigma summation of modulus xi minus x bar okay sum of these modulus xi minus x bar so listen mean deviation about mean mean deviation about mean that is obtained by okay mean deviation about mean is obtained by z sigma mod xi minus x bar divided by n so by heart the formula sigma xi minus x bar by n so sum of these mod xi minus x bar is equal to 22 
n is number of observation number of values that is 8 so 22 by 8 is equal to 2.75 okay so this is the mean deviation about mean for ungrouped data okay find mean deviation about median listen before we discussed mean deviation about mean now we want to find mean deviation about median so data is given in the data only values are there so this is an ungrouped data now listen to get median first we have to arrange the values in ascending or descending order so i am going to uh, make this data in the form of ascending order so this is 3 3 4 5 7 9 10 12 18 19 21 now count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 observations are here okay 11 observations Next we have to find median. Median is the middle most occurring value or n, but n plus 1 by tooth observation. Okay, use the formula. So n is 11, 11 plus 1 by 2, 11 plus 1 to 12 by 2, 12 by 2 is 6. So sixth observation is the median. So count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 9 occurs in middle of this data and therefore median is equal to 9. Okay. So we have the numbers are, what are the numbers? X. It is 3, 9, 5, 3, 12, 10, 18, 4, 7, Okay, 4, 7, then 19, 21. Now find x minus m, that is deviation. So from these x we have to subtract 9. 3 minus 9, minus 6. 9 minus 9, 0. 5 minus 9, minus 4. 3 minus 9, minus 6. 12 minus 9, 3. 1 minus 9, minus 8. 18 minus 9, 9. 4 minus 9, minus 5. 7 minus 9, minus 2. 19 minus 9, 10. 21 minus 9, 12. Okay. Now find the modulus. X minus M. Take the modulus value. So 6, 0, 4, 6, 3, 8, 9, 5, 2, 10, 12. See, you can arrange these as in column wise. Okay. Now find sigma of this modulus x minus m or xi minus m. Take the sum of all these values. So you can see that sum of all these values is equal to 58. And therefore, mean deviation about the mean, mean, sorry, median. Median is denoted by m. Read it as mean deviation about the median is obtained by, see the formula, modulus of xi minus m divided by n. So sum is 58, n, number of observations are 11. So 58 by 11 is equal to 5.27. Okay. So for ungrouped data, mean deviation about the mean and mean deviation about the median is obtained by sigma xi minus x bar divided by n and sigma xi minus m divided by n respectively. If it is mean deviation about the mean then we have to use x bar here. If it is mean deviation about the median then here is median that is the difference. So these two formulae for ungrouped data. So ungrouped data means only values are given, only observations are given. Okay. So go through the examples and exercise questions. 
for this type of ungrouped data and find mean deviation about mean and mean deviation about median okay